Yeah, this, this is the album viewer guy here doing another album review. Today, I will be reviewing the new Fozzy album, Do You Want to Start a War? Now, Fozzy is a uh, heavy metal band fronted by WWE superstar Chris Jericho. The band's been around for about 15 years, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the band's sixth album. And, well, let's get into the review, shall we? Uh, Do You Want to Start a War opens up with its uh, title track. And that track opens the album up with an intro that consists of electronic beeping noises and sirens as well before it gets into the actual instrumentals and eventually the vocals come in. And you know, it's a solid catchy track, but I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites, but it's definitely a solid track to open the album with. Then we get into the next track, Bad Tattoo, and that has some pretty gnarly guitar riffs, especially in the intro. And you know, the vocals mesh well with the semi-chugging guitar in the song as well. Yeah, I don't want to say it's full-out, like, groove metal chugging guitar, but, you know, it has a slight groove metal influence. Uh, then we get on to the next track, Lights Go Out, which starts off with a heavy, bassy, electronic-sounding intro, and then it goes into the heavier instrumentals, and, you know, the verses have bolt sounds in the background, but they interchange after every couple lines. And the chorus is also very easy to get into, and it's pretty solid as well. Died With You changes the pace of the album a bit, as it is a slower and softer track than its preceding tracks. And the chorus gets slightly heavier than the verses, but it's still, I'd say, about the softest song on the album. Then we get into the next song, Tonight which has a bit of a glam rock or uh, glam metal feel to it, which makes sense considering the fact that Michael Starr of Steel Panther is featured on the track. And it's a solid track, but there are better songs on the album. Then we get into Brides of Fire, which is another song that opens with really heavy riffs, and, well, it's just a heavy track in general. And this is another good song on the album, but I wouldn't call it a favorite of mine. And, you know, the song also features some hardcore growls and screams towards the end, which you don't really hear too much in Fozzie's music, so it's different. Then we get into the next song, One Crazed Anarchist, which opens with electronic sounds and drums, and then it goes into the vocals, and the rest of the instrumentals enter the song as well. And, you know, this track also, also features screams and growls. Uh, the vocals and instrumentals go really go together really well on this track and you know there's some awesome guitar parts as well and Jericho's vocals are showcased greatly in the chorus he is a good singer people the, this is easily one of the best songs in the album without a doubt uh, the next song Unstoppable is another song that has a bit of a glam rock or glam metal feel to it and Christy Cook is featured on this track which shows a little bit of diversity from the band but her vocals go well with the uh, overall feel of this song. Next track, Scarecrow, has a haunting, gloomy feel to it with the softer vocals from Jericho and the eerie instrumentals from the rest of the band during the verses. And, you know, the screams in the song add a bit of a darker edge as well. The song doesn't really flow that well when it goes from the verse to the chorus but it flows well when it goes from chorus to solo to verse. Then the next track, No Good Way, is okay, I guess, but, you know, there's nothing really special about it. Next we have S.O.S., which is a cover of the ABBA song, which is kind of strange, considering the fact that ABBA was a pop group back in the day, and Fozzy is a modern-day heavy metal band, but, you know, I guess stranger covers have been done. The track opens with the piano intro, just like the original, and, you know, I think Jericho's vocals work well with the song, not only the intro, but the entire song in general. 
And you know, Fozzie did a great job covering this song. And the final track, Witchery, has some pretty heavy riffs, and the lyrics are presented well in this track too, both the clean vocals and the screams. All in all, it's a solid track to end the album with. You know, this album, it definitely showcases the fact that Fozzie's style of heavy metal continues to grow and evolve. It did on their last album, Sin and Bones, and, you know, so far and so forth on their career, I mean, just every album you get from Fozzy evolves, shows their evolution, and that's that's a great thing, if you ask me. Favorites on this album, Bad Tattoo, Lights Go Out, Died With You, and One Crazed Anarchist, and I don't have any least favorites, really, but overall, this album gets an 8 out of 10. Fozzy, good job, good job. But what can you expect from Chris Jericho? He's the best in the world at what he does. Anyway, what did you guys think of the album? What do you want to see me review next? Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Like my Facebook link down there. That I'm a reviewer guy, signing off.